Israel's culture and sports minister is furious after French police decided to ban fans of an Israeli soccer club from flying the Jewish state's flag during a Europa League qualifying match against Strasbourg this evening. Miri Regev calling the move absurd. Now it comes amid a hostile environment in Strasbourg and expected anti-Israel protests. Local authorities also deciding earlier today to prohibit Israelis from wearing Maccabi Haifa shirts or displaying other items bearing the club symbols and the number of Israelis allowed into the stadium will also be restricted. Israel's foreign ministry says that after protesting to French authorities about a ban on Israeli soccer fans flying the state's flag, well, Paris has clarified that the restrictions are enforced throughout the city, but not inside the stadium during the match. Yoav Borowitz is our sports analyst and he's with me in studio to give us some further insight. Yoav, how surprising is this decision? Is there any uh, precedent to it? Extremely surprising, extremely disappointing, totally unprecedented. And we should understand that the Israeli national team, as well as Israeli soccer clubs, have been playing in Europe now for decades all over Europe, east, west, north, south, and we never heard of a decision by a municipality, by the mayor of Strasbourg, not to raise the Israeli flag all over the city. Totally unheard of, and obviously Israel was extremely upset with this decision. We heard the sports minister, Miri Regev, blasting this decision, also trying to act to change it, as well as the Israeli embassy in Paris. So they decided that during the game, in the match, Israeli flags could be raised and waved, right. but not outside throughout the day. But what's prompting this, Joab? Why are we seeing this kind of a decision being they made? They are afraid, the Strasbourg municipality, they're afraid of the Muslim, there is a big Muslim population, and they're afraid that the Israeli flag will be seen as a reason for a flare-up between Muslim, Muslim French, we should say, French Muslim demonstrators against the Israeli team, maybe also going against the police, but it's such a cowardly decision, you know, it could even be viewed as an anti-Semitic decision, although the decision was that there will be no Israeli flags and no French flags, and it's, a, it's France, yet this is totally uncalled for. You know, I think there should be ways of the police to deal with protesters, and you know, we never heard of any other country. You know, Arab countries will play there, and their flags could be raised. All other European countries, international countries, you know, uh, clubs, their, claps, their flags could be raised, but not the Israeli flag. Singling out the Israeli flag in such a fashion is something that is very, very disturbing. Oh, yeah.